It just annoys me when people are constantly telling women, oh, you have to choose better. You're just like, okay, I ain't got no money. I'm unemployed students. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for anything. She needs help, like I gotta get out of her. Get out! Did we ever find out who her baby daddy was? Just ask. I'm ready for my husband. Would you like to come back? Like go change and then come back? And I was like, no. This woman thought she was about to run his pockets because he got a $2.7 million settlement. Watch this, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe, also smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as i release them let's get right into this one you ever been so broke you ever been so broke you know you're not you're not even sad about it no more like you just like okay i ain't got no money it is you know what i'm saying like i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna eat i don't know how i'm gonna pay for gas i don't know how I'm gonna... and i literally have a trip i have a trip in a few months in december Huh? I have un I'm unemployed. I'm unemployed students. I don't know how I'm gonna pay for anything. I have no money. I have. I, hmm. Hmm. But guess what? But guess what? It's gonna work out. Ain't got good. It's gonna work out. I hear that. Nothing like having a hope and a dream. But somebody gotta tell her. I learned the hard way, and I learned the long and hard way. That a lot of times. It won't work out and you got to do something about it. And the reason why I said that is because of this. Take a look at what she said. Now, this is the exact reason why I said it. Look at what it said. It showed I ain't never been this broke. I don't know how, but I'm going to get this money regardless because I'm not missing that trip. At this point, all I need is money for the plane ticket and I'll figure out the rest later. Now, if any man was to tell another man that, that had some sense and was grown, he would tell him. Don't think about trips right now. Focus on getting your bank, your bank together, then after focus on trips. But that's not the case with a lot of women, but still, it's an issue and you need to be held accountable. You shouldn't be going on that trip. Y'all ain't buy tickets to that Nasty Red concert because word on the street is, y'all, they gonna cancel the tour. And because she's having a hard time selling tickets, she's selling less than 40%. All together, and she still has eighty five thousand two hundred and seventeen tickets still available for sale. We don't know what's going on. I mean, I don't know if it's people just don't have the money, or is it her fans just don't want to see her? Like, what is it? Maybe people are really starting to see that she ain't that you know red. She the nasty red. Maybe people are starting to see it. Now we know that Drake was like one of her biggest promoters. But Drake got his own beef going on right now with Kendrick Lamar, right? So he ain't got time for her. I know this is off topic, but did we ever find out who her baby daddy was? Just ask. And it's not just her that's having a hard time selling tickets. It's Ice Spice and Meg Thee Stallion also. So it could just be the economy that we're in right now. She's also being accused of crypto fraud. And they're calling wow. it pump and dump. I don't know much about it because I'm not into that cryptocurrency, but it's some kind of scam where it's like you invest your money and you're supposed to get the money back, but you're not going to get that money back. So for what it's worth, don't put yourself in anything crypto involving sexy red, I, whatever it is, just don't do it because it might be a scam. But whatever it is, they're saying that she's looking at prison time for it. So like I said, I don't know much about that cryptocurrency mess, but... Whatever it is, and get her put into prison. So, yeah, that's just the word on the street, honey. So, I hope y'all didn't buy some tickets. I know a lot of people. Well, this is not just sexy, right? It's a lot of artists struggling. Uh, and the reason why is because a lot of artists aren't putting much into the show. This, is, this has been happening for years. People that are big names that can't sell tickets. Now, someone, as she mentioned, Drake, someone like Drake probably can sell tickets. But he puts on a show, just like you've seen Kendrick Lamar does shows. He sells tickets. Someone like Eminem, Dr. Dre sells tickets. But nobody's going to pay their good money to go see Ice Spice because they know she's going to be dancing around stage and singing 
most likely over music that's playing. It's like a live concert. I mean, not, not like a live concert. It's like a live radio station replay. And nobody's going to pay the good money to see that. See someone sing over a record that's louder than her and dance on a song saying, I love my baby daddy and all that stuff. No, nobody's going to. But it's true. A lot of people aren't selling tickets. It's a sad thing. And yeah, it's not a time to be an artist. That's why from time to time, you really got to take a break from dating because you start to lose your patience. You start to lose your patience, things that you would have let slide, you can't let slide anymore. Like you just become more aware and like you really just. <sighs> and when you become intentional about your dating, it's kind of hard to just accept anything and go with the flow and, oh, I told him this, but he's still doing this. Like, I can't do that anymore. I don't know. The older you get, the more men you experience in dating, you just got to stand on your business, stand on your boundaries, your standards, because they will try to play in your face. And this is why I keep telling people this dating, this dating stuff is hard. It's hard. It's frustrating, especially when you only want one end goal. I don't want to fling. I don't want another situation ship. I'm not trying to be outside and hoe around. I'm ready for my husband. So if anybody presents me with non-husband material, they got to go. Man, more and more and more women saying that. After they've done letting guys just run through, giving them babies, now you're ready for a husband, but you're 40, 50 pounds heavier, and you're not willing to do the things men want and need, right? Men need love all the way through. Men need full commitment. Are you truly ready to give that to someone? But still, not even that. Look at you now. Like, when you looked like a million bucks, everyone got it. Men just, a lot of times, men just don't want to deal. They don't trust anything. And I actually, I've seen a situation about that. I'll get into that later, but. So, I just got dressed, Cody, during an interview. And then they decided to reschedule the interview with me for tomorrow. But before they rescheduled, the lady was like, would you like to come back? And I go change and then come back. And I was like, no. And these are the shorts. Short legs. Let me turn to the side, y'all. These are the shorts. Man, I don't know what's going on nowadays. Why do I say that? When has it been okay for anybody, woman or man, to show up to an interview wearing shorts? I understand they're dress shorts, but they're not dress shorts. Why aren't they dress shorts? They're not coming past your knees. Your legs are fully exposed. You would have been better off going in a dress that was a little bit to your knees or below. Yes, there's dress code, but I got to show you guys this. Take a look at this. Take a look at all of the women that are okay in this. Check, check this out. It says, ma'am, you look cute. Why can't we get an update on these old dress codes. It's not the 1950s anymore. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And this is a grown woman saying this. Now, no. It, things should still be the same. Because you should be fully dressed. It's time we bring shame back. Women want to, and most women that are with the FNS movement, they understand certain things don't change. But with the new new generation we got going on, we got coming up now, it's a nightmare. And check this out. I agree. Let's challenge the rule and expand the dress code policy. You trying to do that now in this job economy right now, where it's hard? Wearing shorts to an interview. Tarisha interview. Interview in shorts. Like it's crazy. And take a look at this next one. It says, you must be highly qualified for the every schedule. Please use this as a teachable moment and congrats on getting an interview in this tough job market. This lady just said it. Congrats on getting an interview in this tough job market. So if it's a tough job market, you should go tomorrow dressed properly so you can get the job. Then she, she went around to the hashtag wearing shorts on interview. Then this guy said, which was the guy that was right, really the only man that to comment here who wears shorts to work
That's true. That's true. Because if you're going to McDonald's or something like that, and you went dressed in McDonald's pants with the McDonald's shirt, they're gonna say, "Oh wow, congratulations! You look, you ready to start right now?" Look sincerely. I hope you have a career coach or mentor down the line to help you focus in on your goals and take you to the next level. I don't know what you were inter- interviewing for, but this ain't it for corporate. Exactly. People finally starting to tell the truth. She needs to listen to these comments, not the other comments, but she did hard it. Hopefully she gets the point. I think she does. And if she's smart, she's going to go ready and properly dress tomorrow. A good guy. They'll pretend that they like you. They pretend that they're interested in the same things you're interested in. And that's why dating is so hard and it's so frustrating for so many women. I was watching this video yesterday that was basically a compilation of videos of men talking about how they manipulate women, how they love bomb women. It's already, it's all the stuff I already knew, but it's just like, I don't know why people act like this. Like some of the things people do, it's like, it's antisocial. It's honestly almost pathological. No, I understand why. It's because they know that they have to do that to be able to get the woman. It's delusional. They have to do that to be able to sleep with her. They have to pretend to be somebody they're not. And it's basically just them like enjoying chasing you. And they'll do that even if they don't actually like you. They do it because they know that being themselves is going to scare the woman away. So they have to pretend to be this perfect Prince Charming guy. And that gets them in her good graces. And then she'll let him have access to her body and whatever else he's trying to get from her. It just annoys me when people are constantly telling women, oh, you have to choose better without acknowledging the fact that men are basically faking their personality. They're faking who they are. They're faking their intentions towards you. That's a who's that. But you keep choosing these guys, right? You ignore, see, women got to realize this. You ignore a bunch of men that try to talk to you that have good intentions. And you go for the man that looks handsome. This is what happens. When you keep going for that one man that you know probably doesn't fit into your criteria, right? Because look, I'm looking at you right now, you have contacts on. I doubt your eyes are that color. And you have makeup, some kind of concealer on your face. You're not being you. So men are doing the same thing. They're going to the dates not being them. Congratulations. That's what you get. But let me let it finish. And it's hard to discern that from somebody that's being genuine and somebody that's being honest. And that's why so many women are just deciding to just not even date anymore and to just focus on themselves, to love themselves, to focus on their hobbies, to focus on their friendships and their non-romantic relationships and to do things that make them happy. Because at a certain point, you realize that a man is just not going to do that for you. I've realized that a lot of men are actually extremely insecure, and I think that's part of the reason why they don't feel comfortable being themselves, even And if you can't take their insults, they shame you. Oh, look at you. You're too weak. Again, shaming tactics. If they genuinely want a real connection with a woman, they just like, they don't even feel good about themselves. A lot of them honestly don't even like themselves. You're supposed to be able to handle their insults and see... Low value women feel like people should be able to handle them. So no. Why would they like you? The guys she wants, is, the guys that are doing this are the Chads and the Tyrones that have women at their beck and call. Those are the ones that go around love bombing sometimes, playing games, telling you things you want to hear. So you get in their drawers and go and continue doing that because they know they have a certain look women want and they want to keep it flowing. Yo, look what she, my mama did to my room. <laughs> This bitch is toxic because she needs help. Like, she needs help. Like, I gotta get out of her. Get out! Get Damn! Out! Out! Get out! Get out! You ain't got nowhere to go. I'm, I'm strike, bro. You was a mistake. Damn. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on her side. Her mother is toxic. But what I think is happening is her mother wants her gone. She clearly said it. She's even insulting you to get you gone. She wants you out. I don't know, maybe she's in there with a guy and she has a boyfriend and she can't get freak with him at night. That has to be it. It has to be something like that going on. Because she clearly wants you out. When she says, you was a mistake, Bill, it's time to go. Seriously. If I, my mom said you was a mistake, I'm thinking, well, most kids are mistakes. That probably hurt her feelings to the core, but somebody say, I'm, I'm a grown man. When I was younger, I probably would have took it to heart, but still, somebody tells you you're a mistake, like, 
most kids' mistakes. But still, that's wild. But your mom's doing that. It's time to go. She wants you going. Go. Get yourself a job. And just continue stacking money. Continue. Maybe agree with may have her agree with you. Say, look, Ma, if I can stack money, get a job and stack money for a year or six months, because a year may be too long. She wants you going. For six months, is that okay? Yeah, sure. Go to her and come up with come up with a come up with a plan with her. If she doesn't want to come up with a plan with you, deal with it for six more months and then go. Go with at least seven, six, seven, eight thousand, if not more. At least a year's worth of uh, what your rent will be. Find somewhere to live for cheap, maybe a room. But yeah, you got to go because this is wild. Hey, this woman thought she was about to run his pockets because he got a $2.7 million settlement. It didn't count towards his income, though. And you went on Facebook before court and told everybody, I'm about to run this the pockets. Watch this, y'all. Um, would you be in agreement for child support to be set at three hundred and seven dollars? For all three? Yes, ma'am. Like one hundred a piece? Three hundred and seven dollars would be the child support amount that would be ordered. Is that what is what we're asking? Are you in agreement or disagreement with that amount? I'm at, I'm saying is that like three hundred per child? Do no, it's three three it's total. Three. Yes. No. Okay. Um, what is the um? Why are you in disagreement? They're boys. They're in. They're in sports. They're constantly eating. They're constantly growing. Um, everything is so expensive. It's. One is about to graduate soon, and he's in. Um, he's getting ready to do like all his other school activities. Is I just don't agree with three hundred dollars at all. Man, this has to be most foolish thing. Now, this guy just won a lotto. That means he has to file it on his taxes, right? Out of that two point seven, depending on the state, they may take half. If it's in New York State, they're definitely taking half, and he has to file it, right? So maybe in a year and a half, that's when you divorce him. She did this man a favor. Congratulations, you played yourself. And this is the mindset of the modern woman. As soon as you got some money, divorce him and take half. Right? Divorce him and take it. And a lot, and so many women are doing this nowadays. I do commend a woman that wait a long time. Like the woman that get a guy that was that built himself up and she saw him build himself up. And she stayed with him for at least 10, 15 years. That's not right, but still, it's better than this situation. She saw a way out. And this is why guys are choosing to, to go their own way and to not date women because of situations like this. Because guys, we all realize it's definitely more to life than dealing with women like that. 